Hey, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking a triangular loop is placed in the XZ plane as shown in figure. Assume that a DC current I is equal to 2 ampere flows in a loop and that B is equal to 30 AZ milliweber per meter exist in the region. Find the forces and torque on the loop. Okay. Now let's find the force first. Now if we take like let's say this is O, this is P and let's say this is Q. Okay, let's name this way. So let's look at OP. OP, we we know that uh, this is going in the Z direction and uh, here we have 5 and the magnetic field is in the Z direction. Now let's, let's note down all the given information. We have current that's given 2 ampere and we have magnetic field that's given 30 AZ milliweber per meter and that's it we we have these two information and they are asking to find out the forces and the torque now the first thing is we are going to find out the force to find the force we can use this formula let's look at op first fop that's equal to i l cross b okay l cross b i is what 2 ampere 2 and l l is the length that's 5 but this is in the z direction so this is going to be 5 AZ and then we are crossing this one with the magnetic field. The given magnetic field is 30 AZ milliweber. So 30 times 10 to the power of minus 3 AZ. Okay. Here you can see Z cross Z 0 right. So Z cross Z 0. So if this is 0 then whole thing is 0. So OP the force on OP direction is 0. Force on OP is 0. Now the next thing is we are going to look at OQ, F O Q. same equation I L cross B, I is what 2 ampere, then length is 5 but here we have in the x direction. So we put 5 A x cross 30 times 10 to the power of minus 3, that's the magnetic field, 30 times 10 to the power of minus 3 and then that is in the z direction because this is in the z direction b is equal to 30 a z this is in the c direction so if we cross x and a x and a z that's going to give us negative a y and if we calculate this one that's going to give us 0 0.3 a y newton so this is a force on force on o q now force on o we we have calculated o p and also we have calculated OQ. Now let's look at PQ. FPQ. This one 5 AZ. To calculate that one, what we do? Okay, not F is equal to PQ, FPQ. And here this is 2, right? This is 2. FPQ. Same equation I times L cross B. I is 2. But for this one, length is going to be what? We are looking at PQ. To find out PQ, what we have to do? We have to subtract this one for like this one from this. So 5 AZ minus 5 AX is going to be this PQ. Now we have this one and we are going to cross this one with 30 times 10 to the power of minus 3 AZ. Okay. And if we cross this one, what we are going to get? We are going to get Z cross Z, that's 0. So this one is 0. And negative 5 AX cross AZ, that's going to give us positive AY. So that's going to result in, so finally we will end up with 0 0.3 AY Newton. Okay. So this is the final answer. And uh, so we have all, we have calculated all the forces. Now the next thing is we can calculate the magnetic dipole moment. We can calculate the magnetic dipole moment using this formula I times the area. Area of the cross section. Or let's uh, write AC. So cross sectional area. Okay. Now I is 2. 
what is the cross sectional area cross section since this is a triangle we are going to have half times base times the height so half times the base is what 5 ax 5 ax cross the height is 5 az and x cross z that's going to give us negative ay and if we calculate this one this is going to result in negative 25 ay newton meter per tesla so this is the magnetic dipole moment now the next thing is we are going to calculate the torque we can calculate the torque using this formula torque is equal to magnetic dipole moment cross b now magnetic dipole moment we calculate that's negative 25 ay then we are crossing that one with the magnetic field that's 30 az times 10 to the power of minus 3 30 az times 10 to the power of minus 3 here we have newton meter per tesla and this one here that's going to give us negative 750 this 10 to the power of minus 3 negative 750 times 10 to the power of minus 3 that's going to give us negative 0 0.75 ax newton meter because y cross z that's going to give us x so ax newton meter and this is our final answer and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching and we the question here is asking us to find out the forces and torque this is torque and here we have all the forces okay i hope this helps thanks for watching